guys, I'm so obsessed with baked beans. And sourdough bread. Baby's sleeping in the car. In their garage, not outside. Also, a braid with mom hair, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Anyways, I started reading a new book in the car on the way to church. It's so good, you guys. And it made me think I really want to talk to you about some of my favorite books on marriage. Mm hmm. that you're here. Um, the first part of the video is just the last couple of days kind of like blended together. Anyways, I want to talk about something that I talked about on my Instagram, which is this detox that I'm going to do. So if you follow me on Instagram, I was talking about doing this a couple of weeks ago and it's this herbal cleanse. So it comes with this guy and then this guy and didn't get an answer if it's not safe for breastfeeding but they also didn't tell me that for sure it was safe they just said consult your doctor so it's one of those things barley is 13 months and we are giving her more solid food so I feel like it's okay time I've been going slow I didn't start with a full dosage just to see how um, she would react so we're doing good so far but Anyways, I know here in a little bit I want to go over some of the books that I talked about in the other clip. So I'm going to go over those in a little bit. Um, but yeah, you guys saw me chowing down on beans. And also I think I'm going to make a smoothie. I could like really use just some real food in my body right now. So anyways, what? What is this? Want to come say hi to the people? No, look at the... Valerie's meatball sub, doesn't that look I'll show good? the people. Mmm. Let it focus. Let's go to Fullerton. <laughs> okay. Let's go home. Aw, don't say that. That's sad. We're still adjusting to our new area. I'll never adjust. I 
I'm gonna spoil it to you. It sucks down here. It's ah! A bunch of boring white people. <laughs> it's a little vanilla, and yeah, but it's really nice and white. quiet. I mean, look at that view. Like, look at that. Never thought I'd. It's beautiful. Actually, never mind. I'm not gonna say that. I will offend somebody. Anyways, I'm gonna make a smoothie. Um, and use my new straws. I got some new bamboo straws and I got some like metal straws. I'm super weird about using metal though. I don't like metal. So we're gonna use the bamboo ones. What do you think? What do you think? You don't know? I'll go to daddy. Uh. That's nice. You want some smoothie? You want some smoothie? I just realized I chugged the whole thing and didn't even like film me tasting it. Why do I get out of the habit of making smoothies? I'm gonna wash this, I'm gonna sit you right there. Um, why do I get out of the habit of making smoothies? It's such an easy thing, they're so healthy, you feel so good. No excuse. It is no excuse. She's like, I seriously put probably. Oh, what? Look at her. Look, 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 look. You missed it. Did you fall? She flipped over and fell into my, like my ankles right there. Another. How's another, your ankle? Fine, but dude, that's two days in a row where it was almost really bad. Mmm. Is it good? You are crazy. You gotta take it easy. Take it easy. Are we ready to go? So we're gonna run to get Justin an oil change in his Jeep and then I think I need to get a new duvet. So you guys saw my last video. I tried to dye our duvet, bad idea. I love white, I love clean, I love plain and I dyed our duvet purple on accident. So um, I need a new one. I have a gift card, I have a coupon and the one that's at the store is on clearance. So we're gonna try to get out of there spending zero dollars so I'll take you with this um today's one of those days too you guys where I just I felt disgusting I felt awful like I just felt gross you guys know what I'm talking about like as a mom you just feel so like worn down sometimes and 
And I just didn't want to get dressed. I just felt gross, which then I would have continued feeling gross. And I feel so much better. I put my makeup on, I get ready for the day, and I feel really good. So that's you, just do it. Like I didn't think it was possible to feel better because I was just feeling blah. I mean, I've been eating bad, I've been tired, I've been entertaining, so I've been working out, and yeah, which is my fault. I'm responsible for Ivy, so anyways. So cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not for seventy dollars, oh, though. This is cool. I like that. It's ugly. I like that one. No. But it's seventy dollars. It's 50 bucks. That's crazy. Yeah, break that. They're so pretty. Wow, that's really pretty. I really like this one. It's like clay colored, but I know I'll hate it after like a week. That's really cute. I need a chair first. You do need a chair. Wow, these are really pretty. doing over here? Huh? You can't have it. So this is the duvet that I ended up getting. It was um, $79.99 on sale. I had a gift card for $58 on it, 
and then I had a 20% off coupon. So I ended up only paying $9, which was amazing. And I only got this one. I didn't get the clay because I just, I know myself and we're trying to minimize still. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make this fast because this video is getting so long. Um, okay, the books I was talking about, one is The Power of a Praying Wife. It's incredible, it was really important for me after I had the baby. Now reading is not realistic after you have a baby and I'm gonna be super honest about that. The two times I found were good to read, which was one when I was breastfeeding her to sleep for a nap, so like, She's asleep, but not really asleep, but you can't really move yet. And you can't be intentional with the baby. I felt like that was a good time to read. And two, early in the mornings if I was up before her. Uh, those were the two times that I chose to read. I used to read a ton before I had Barley, and it was really hard on me, like figuring out when to get that time in, because it's really important to me. I love to read, and I've always used it at different times in my life, especially the last five years when we had, you know, our business and our storefronts. I just really, I was craving it a lot. Do I hear her? No. Anyways. Um, okay. So the power of a praying wife, really good. I felt like that was really good right after the baby. And then the ultimate favorite is created to be his helpmate by Debbie Pearl favorite 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 um and then the one i'm reading right now is actually was recommended by Haley page which is called the proper care and feeding of husbands and yeah so i'll try to find them and link them all below but my camera is dying and this video is getting so long so if you guys want me to talk about this more please comment below if you can't comment below message me on instagram because i'd love to talk about these books more but thanks for watching you guys mamas i encourage you to just get ready and you know make yourself feel better whatever that is i have to tell you my eyelashes made a big difference i just feel like i'm ready for the day and that's important you know it is important it's not vanity it's showing up for your day whatever that is for you maybe it's getting your hair done or your nails done but anyways i love you guys thanks for hanging with me and i will see you on my next video don't forget to hit the forget don't forget to hit the subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and turn your bell on so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you on my next video. Now I'm going to change this awful color bedspread. What was I thinking? We don't know. Hey, no, 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 no.